First it was the bullets, then the tear gas, and now this. It's probably the worst smelling substance you will ever smell in your entire life. You stink, you bad people. I don't have a home, it stinks, you made it smell. I have nowhere to go. I can't even see my son, you sprayed him. Developed by Israeli security forces, this foul-smelling liquid is used to disperse Palestinian demonstrations and it's proving to be pretty effective. If it hits uh, you in the eyes, it could be uh, painful and it could cause um, redness and if uh, it's swallowed, it can cause uh, stomach problems. It's important to, uh, to state that this material has never been used against uh, Israeli Jews in only Jewish demonstrations. It's the answer to a years-old search by the Israeli military for an alternative to tear gas to control crowds. The skunk is uh, an anti-riot means that we employ in order to live up to our philosophy of containing riots at a safe distance while also ensuring the safety of everyone involved. But those on the receiving end claim it's being used as collective punishment. It's sprayed not at stone throwers, but generally simply at uh, people participating in nonviolent uh, marches. And very often is that the skunk is sprayed at homes, at gardens, uh, at people who are not participating at all in any demonstration. Take a Tala Tamimi, for example. He shows me the damage to his house from the so-called skunk. His wife was forced to throw their two-year-old daughter from an upstairs balcony to safety below after the windows of her bedroom shattered. The Israeli forces come from this side and the sewage car stops there. It starts spraying while at the same time the soldiers throw the tear gas on the houses. Every Friday it's usual to see clashes here in the West Bank village of Nabe Saleh between Israeli soldiers and Palestinian demonstrators. Villagers claim a nearby Israeli settlement is being built on their land. As you enter Nabi Saleh, this is the sign that welcomes you. Dozens of tear gas canisters that have been collected just over the past few months. A stark reminder of the excessive force the Israeli army uses against the small village. It remains unclear what's actually inside the liquid. This water is very dirty and has a very bad smell. Once, we left the house for three weeks because of it. It's water-based uh, and has various ingredients that create a very pungent smell, but uh, it is household uh, ingredients as well. Whatever it is, the one thing both sides agree on, you would not want to be sprayed with it. Paulus Lea RT, Nabi Saleh in the West Bank.